Hey there, Prime Coders, and I know most of you have only one additional technical round into your hand, which would be similar to the technical round one, but those who cracked Gen C rule and also cracked the category of Pro and Next, you can expect these programming questions that I'm gonna start in this video. Yes, you can see most frequent coding question in interviews because after your additional technical assessment, you will not get much time to prepare for your interview. So bookmark this video, try to note all the questions that I shared in this particular presentation, then only it will be very easy to crack your campus opportunity. So without wasting time, I am Aitha Mishra and you are watching Prime Coding. Let's hop towards the Gen C program coding question first. So you can see reverse the string, very easy question, but it is not like that you will think, okay, Aditya, this question is very easy. I can just use any inbuilt function to do that. No, no. You need to use two pointer approach to reverse a string or it may be you can use slicing or any of the approaches without using inbuilt function. How you can do that? You can either start your loop from the last word or character in a string and you can reverse that print in a manner. So totally depend upon the thing. Let's see. Write a function that takes a string and input and returns the string reversed. So you probably take around 5 to 10 minutes to solve this problem. But the much time you will take less, the more opportunity or more chances to get higher is high. Because what it means, because many of the people who don't have an hands-on experience of programming, they will start doing some basic syntactical errors which is not totally accepted. So whenever you are writing, because in your exam, they will give you a paper or if it is online, they will share you a docs sheet with you. There you need to write your code without doing or having any syntax error. Okay, because these questions are very easy. The logic is pretty clear. Now it's totally depend upon your way of programming, how you are initializing your variable, how you are presenting your code and do you have any errors or not, which will be logical, syntactical, any types. So don't do that. Find the second largest element in an array. Now similar to that, you can find second smallest element present in an array. Any type of problem that you can expect regarding the second largest, second smallest, medium or average number present in the array or not. And few basic questions I will also let you know as we are going forward. Okay, so check if a string is palindrome. Now this could be the follow up question if someone asks you, can you reverse the string? Okay, so you need to know about it. And a cherry on the cake data structure that I won't tell you is all the linear data structure, please do that. Okay, the theoretical part you should not miss. If someone asks you, okay, can you let me know the difference between stack and queues and how you can implement it under flow, overflow conditions? Because this is the very fundamental checks that they can do with you. So don't lag into this basic checks. Okay, so now write a program to check if a given string is parent row, read the same backward and forward, it's an hint. But I would say you should have a multiple approach because if the question is easy and you started writing the code directly, but don't and never write question directly. Try to explain the test case first and your approach to the interviewer. If he agrees on that, then only move forward with your programming or coding part. Okay, so yes. Try to have at least two approaches with you, which will be a brute force or another would be an optimal if it is possible. In this case, every approach would be optimal. Try to have one or two because interviewer may ask you, can you solve this question in a different way as well? So there you should be answerable. You should not answer like no, because no is the key to reject in the interview. Okay, so now find the missing number in an array. Great. Now find missing number. Now the follow up question would be find frequency most occurring element present in an array, most least occurring element in an array, minimal element, maximum element, sum of maximum and minimum element then you need to do. Okay. So given an array nums and one to n one missing number, write a program to find a missing number. So this is the hint for you guys. The number is totally a natural number because it starts from one and it will go to n. Now there is a sum formula if you remember, which will help you to find the given missing number. Okay. Or the missing number that you need to find. 
ओके इफ यू डोंट नो दिस अप्रोच गाइज यू आर लैगिंग इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर कंसेप्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल सो आई विल रिकमेंड यू अ टू आर ऑल एर ए पैटर्न क्वेश्चन डेट आई क्रिएटेड ऑन माई चैनल ऑलरेडी ओके इट इज ऑफ टू आर कवर्ड होल पैटर्न द बेसिक फंडामेंटल पैटर्न दैट एवरी वन शुड नो इट्स कवर्ड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो डू चेक दैट वीडियो आउट इट इज ऑन द चैनल एंड इफ आई विल ट्राई टू पुट इन टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन और इन द आई बटन एज वेल सो डू चेक दिस वीडियो आउट अदरवाइज यू यू आर इन ट्रेवल Okay, so yes, this question is great. Now, one to one mock session worth of rupees five ninety four. You will just get it into two ninety nine. Yes, guys, one hour of comprehensive session where we'll test everything which is being tested in your as interview, actual interview, your communication, your spoken English, your representation, your core concepts, your skills, your resume based problems. Everything will be tested here. Resume review. where your resume is lagging and how you can improve your resume okay personalized feedback totally depend upon the session experience that we had with you we'll let you know all the phases how you can improve the things all the mistakes that you did and what is your weak point and how you can overcome suggestions and improvement like road map motivation guidance much more you name it and you will get in just 299 guys so for this just head on to prime coding dot in where we will convert your interview opportunity into the offer letter so that you can make your parents proud now join our prime community because here you will get notes because just you need to check the pinned message or there's a rose bot who will keep on posting the drive link where we all notes has been arranged company wise folders you can just check that out you can interact with your peers having network with them learn from their experience and their mistakes and share your own interview experience or coding questions or whatever you want to okay the link would be in the description just check that out and join the brilliant community of prime coding so let's talk about gen c pro round okay which is a uh, one of the good round that i would say find all duplicates in an array now the follow up question i didn't mention everything because people do only go through all the problems without listening the explanation now the question can be tweak in the such a way that you need to find the particular element which repeats n by 2 times or n by 3 times if the element repeats this much if you might wonder what do you mean by 2 slash so in python we usually use for floor division and if you are from c++ and java it is similar to the division operator so any element which is repeating more than the half of the length or more than the uh, n by third of the length you need to return that okay so these types of problem you can expect in pro there are very less chances to get this types of question in pro if they are not asking you to solve in optimal manner if you can use hash map then definitely you can expect this question in pro otherwise this question lies into the next where they will ask you to optimize your code whatever you wrote okay so now given an array of integer where each element may appear twice or more find all the duplicates element which is totally clear and concise problem okay so merge two sorted arrays so uh, we are very dicey to put into pro or next because this question was asked in both of the roles let it be pro and next okay so you need to be very thorough because if you prepare your merge sort okay that merge sort sorting algorithm then this is your left hand job directly you can easily solve this because sorting two list is not a big task if you know how the merge sort works internally okay so write a program to merge two sorted array into one sorted array without using any sorting function so there is a quick request if you want the in depth solution of all these questions okay you just need to achieve this uh, 200 like targets and 100 comments so that i will get to know yes you are in need and as a helper as your mentor i will create in detail solution so that you just need to watch watch that video once and ace your interview and make your career certain okay so let's talk about the new set of problems which is check if two strings are anagrams or not which is a pretty easy question if you think because let's say anagram what do you mean by it so eight let's say you have s1 which is eight and you have s2 which is eight okay so eight is an or eight is an anagram of eight because if you rearrange the letter present in this string then you can form eight very easily okay so yes so given to write a function to check if they are anagrams of each other so question level is not that hard it's around easy to medium so if you miss this problems you are 
not suitable for software engineering jobs i would say if after telling by me and also you are not studying then only you deserve this line that you don't deserve for the software engineering you should hop towards a new core area where you are interested in because this question and few question that i covered here are very easy at least you should come up with brute force approach for sure okay so binary search which is a typically asked in any type of service based company irrespective of your packages let it be 5 point or 3 pointer or 6 pointer okay you can expect this because this is a fundamental concept which 12th guys also study in their pcm or cs when they have in school days or in high schools okay so you need to prepare the algorithm how this algorithm work and people do forget about sorting algorithm as well their underlying algo or principle in which they work so try to be very thorough with these which is mostly ignorable topics try to do that okay now cognizant top 30 coding sheet is also uploaded on my channel you can either see this video on my channel or if you want that sheet you just need to join our telegram group and in that telegram group there would be a link of our drive go towards it click on comments and folder and you will end up having this top 30 question list which we found by thorough research on multiple websites people usually ask okay so this question you took from this website yes i took from multiple websites not only that the thing that you should do from your site i am doing so that your time has been reduced so, you, so that you can only need to follow the sheet prepare for it and crack your interview okay so yes gen c next role which is reverse a linked list or we saw the question on doubly linked list as well how you can delete a doubly uh, node in a doubly linked list what is a tail pointer and how you can maintain it when you built your linked list from scratch so these are the problem okay i didn't mention in this try to make note of it otherwise you will be not able to crack this next role so median of two sorted arrays as i told i was very dicey in the pro and i also mentioned this problem in next as well so find the median of two sorted array so you need to do that okay so median okay it's a median not merge merge okay so you can expect that merge problem as well so median of two sorted array there would be a mathematical formula or 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 you can find it by traversing as well so try to figure out how you can solve this question in an optimal manner okay now kth largest element which is find the kth largest element in an unsorted array let's say you have array having 1 2 3 4 5 5 elements into it and if i say you the kth you need to find the fourth largest element present in my array fourth so if you start from there because 5 is maximum then 1 2 3 4 so 2 would be the answer you need to find in this manner so what could be your approach do let me know in the comment section also okay so that i can check how much you have prepared with your interview so word search in metrics is the rarest to rarest problem i found on the internet because these types of dsa core problem you can expect when you mentioned around 400 to 500 problems you did lead code and it is totally visible in your resume then you can expect the high level problems as well because in my time when i was interviewing i got multiple trees question because i wrote i solve 550 problems into my resume so you need to be very thorough if you are mentioning or claiming something try to stand out into it or otherwise your words that you wrote it's of no use okay so if you want to prepare for tcs whole playlist has been ready you just need to follow it and crack your tcs and qt essential playlist is already built extensively all types of stuff that you need to crack everything has been mentioned here the capgemini cognizant tcs sheet is also available on my channel as well as you can check out the telegram group and cognizant whole series has been uploaded let it be your communication your coding problems your sql problems and much more i have uploaded and i have few more questions to upload in that cognizant playlist if you having cognizant test right away do check this uh, playlist out and I upload hiring updates very rare but these hiring updates have a good weightage you will get talent calls most of the time and definitely your resume got shortlisted in this so for getting updated to the hiring alerts and all the great content that I gonna put in future try to subscribe this channel if you have not and like this video because 
it motivates me a lot and motivates me to do more hard work so that your preparation would be very smooth okay and share with your friends so that your friend can also build his or her career and make her or his parents proud so we'll meet you with a new video soon thanks for watching